package, but what's your name? Megan. Megan, you sound English. What? You sound English. Oh, like British? Yeah. Not quite. Where are you from? The US. That's weird. Okay. Well, I need to talk to her a little bit more, but yeah, maybe. the first impression is a little bit uh, British. So what brought you here? Megan. Yourself. Yeah, yeah, I have friends back at the hostel, but I'm here by myself. But they don't want to party, you're the only one who wants to party. Yeah, I just want to dance. They want to sleep. I heard about that a thousand times. Like, so, are you sure you only want to dance, or you can actually first talk to the best location guy in town? Oh, yeah. By the way, how long are you here for? I'm in Chiang Mai till Saturday. Until Saturday, so this is like Wednesday night. I'm so my math is good. So you got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so three days pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Well, that means we need, we better hurry up and create some good memories. Uh, By yeah. the way, which part of the States are you from? Arizona. Cool. You know, I used to be a huge Phoenix Suns fan. Oh, I used to play a lot of basketball, but not anymore. Really? Yes. Why not anymore? Well, I'm more into calisthenics. And I, because it fits into my lifestyle because I, for the last few years, I just live and travel the world. Uh, you know, it's, it, you can't really co consistently play basketball. Yeah. You know? Also, you have to prepare like a big pair of basketball sneakers. Uh, I like to travel light, you know. Uh, so, Calithanic is like any park you go to, you can do it. Anywhere. Yeah. Well, what about you? You seem pretty fit. Do you do any sports? I don't the gym, that's it. But, but how could you know? Because most people think I sound like American or Canadian, but... What? Yes! Well, but so you have many... How do you know? Like you have many... Uh, you went to college and they're like some Chinese students well, uh, and they sound just like me. I speak a little bit of Mandarin. Say again? I speak a little bit of Mandarin. Why is that? Because uh, I like languages. So really? I, yeah. So what's, what, what's your second best language other than English? Probably Mandarin. But it's not that good. It's not good, but well, it's the best. Well, so. don't be humble. Just say something. Say something. No, no. Are you sure? Because I'm a gentleman. I can actually buy a drink. I'm I don't mind. Yeah. I don't drink, though. Good for you. Yeah. Me either. Really? You don't drink? I only drink when I have to. Usually I don't. When you have to? I think we had a good night together, but I will only consider going home with you if you drink. I was like, ah, oh, really? Fuck it. I'm kidding, but I just made it up. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. usually I don't drink. Because I, I'm not like, uh, I don't, I usually can handle the peer pressure or whatever, you know, if like other people are doing it, but I was like, yeah, so what? I don't have to do the same thing. Speak some Mandarin, but there's. Oh, the oh, okay, okay. okay, I guess you can say that anytime. That means I don't know. What do you want me to say? Just have a like a conversation. Like, can we actually move like five meters this way? Because this is really loud. I need to hear, I need to listen to your Chinese, like, better. So. You start. I start, okay. Yeah. Ni hao. Ni hao. I'm Heisen. Uh, you call what name? Heisen. Heisen. Heisen, do you know Breaking Bad? Uh, no, I haven't watched it. Okay, do you know, uh, you must know Mike Tyson. Yeah. It's like that, but start with H. Tyson. Tyson. I actually uh, gave myself this name according to my Chinese name. Wait, what is it? You have a Chinese name? Meng Yan. Meng Yan. Meng. Meng Yan. Yan? What's the second character? What? Yeah. The first one means Meng. dream. Yes. What, what's the second, the second one? one? It's like not very Wh Which common. one? Yan? Um, write it on my hand. Like, write it. That's a good one. 
long time since I've written it. Uh... That's pretty simple to do again. <laughs> to do it. It's on your Instagram bio or something. No, it's not, it's not on there. No. It's nowhere to be found. No, I haven't. I don't, I don't speak but it. do you know the meaning? Because usually the no, Chinese. Are... It's, a, it's a really obscure one. How did you get? How do you even get a name then? I, the when they taught me like the like you know how to distinguish them. It was like some very obscure character, like some poet or something. send you to some language class. No, I can start learning. But uh, there, there are so many, 13? 19. 19. 19. Yeah. 19. Yeah. You're like, I got nothing to do in my life. Sure. <laughs> and, but, but still, like, you have nothing to do, but you, you can choose many things to do. But you chose to learn Chinese. What are the underlining reasons? Is there like a crash of yours since high school that Chinese? Like what's going on? My boyfriend at the time was Chinese. In high school? No. Fortune cookie and shit, yeah, yeah. which is not real Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah we just, I, it was coincidental. I started learning. Chinese. You work together. What? You work together. No, he was a It's customer. a customer. You're yeah. the waitress. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it was coincidental. Okay, I was how? Already I'm kind of curious. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Yeah. How did you hit it up? How did you exchange the number? Like, who showed interest? How did he, uh, to learn Chinese anyway. So. Yeah, basically, yeah. But he never spoke it with me, hardly <laughs> ever. So. Just like us. Like we're... Yeah, exactly. Well, you can switch to Chinese anytime. Because uh, I don't speak it. I don't well, speak you it speak very... some. Not a little bit. All right. So. so that's what happened. So you moved to New York after high school. Yeah. And then what? What happened? I lived in New York for two years. Ever since? Or Express. Yeah, for the Why? Time. Just want to go to a bigger city. Are you from like a? You from a small town in Arizona? Yeah, smaller town. Than like in the middle of the desert. Uh -huh. In the middle of the desert. Yeah, yeah. I think okay, not not much going on there. So. Not a whole lot. Yeah. So I moved there after high school, and then I was there for two years. Moved back home, and now I'm in Utah. Then what? Now I'm living in Utah. Why is that? You you become a you became a Mormon. I've been a Mormon. You've been a Mormon. I was born a Mormon. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to school. You know, while I was in Mexico, I met a dude. Yeah. The fucking more they they've sent him to Mexico. Yeah. To spread the message. Yeah, missionaries. Yeah. This dude learned like perfect Spanish. Yeah, they do that. It's crazy. It's awesome. And he went to some like crazy fucking ghettos. Yeah. Like dangerous as fuck. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Like the founder of this religion has like many wives, uh, yeah. and only he gets to do that, right? No, no, no. no? Okay, so the polygamy thing. Back in the day when the church was restored, Joseph Smith, the guy you're referring to, um, he received revelation that for a short amount of time they should practice polygamy, having multiple wives. Everyone has. Men gets to have multiple or what? Yes, because. So how can you? Can, but how can you have that many? But you can't. Have, you can't have it outside your religion, right? Yeah, it's the point. Like the, the women doesn't have to. They no, don't have to be. The purpose was the women's husbands were dying. They were being persecuted. The church people didn't like Mormons, so they were being attacked. The husbands were being killed. Support. 
support <laughs> that. What is that? What? Like you said, in order to support. Support the wife, the widow. She didn't have a husband back in the day. A husband was like a real security. Um, yeah, but I guess you can remarry, but it doesn't ha doesn't mean you had to marry many people. Yeah. Pajama thing, underwear. Like, yeah, what yeah. is that? That's so weird. Yeah, it's, Why do you have to wear that? It's, um, you actually did it? I'm not endowed. Never. So I don't have it yet. But once I become endowed in the temple, which is basically like a blessing, you receive a, a special blessing and you make a covenant with God, a promise with God that you'll keep the commandments that He's given us to live. Better to have a tiny little tattoo. It's permanent. Because we don't believe in tattoos. So okay, okay. That would make sense. But it's you have to make the choice to put it on every day. Every day. So but like a, you can. Is it like the only time you're not you're not supposed to wear? Is like when you take a shower. Like otherwise you have to wear it all the time. Or what? Like whenever you would wear underwear, you would wear those. I'm the type of person I'll be working naked at home. Like I don't like to wear things. I like, also while I'm sleeping, I don't like to wear. Sure, that's that's your thing. But yeah. I think the point is to help keep you modest as well. Keep you modest. Yeah. So what do you mean keep you modest? Walk around the planet Earth, making money, having fun. Walk around the planet Earth, making money, having fun.